Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Today we're going to be demonstrating the use of Dysport to treat the lower face. Now, Dysport in the upper face is a very common procedure in the glabella complex, in the forehead, for the lateral right tits or the crow's feet. However, the results are excellent when used for the lower face. We can resolve a downturned mouth. We can soften the melomental folds, also known as the marionette lines. We could soften and give a better shape to a prune or dimpled chin. Now these are advanced techniques, so if you're using this video to learn a little bit more about Dysport administration, or even Botox administration, I wouldn't recommend starting in this region. The doses are very small, especially when we're doing the lip lines, also known as the smoker's lines, because the doses in that area are minuscule, and you should have excellent control of your syringe before you start injecting in that region. So, let's go ahead on the video, and I'll show you how we inject the depressor angulite oris muscles, which pull down the sides of the mouth and also uh, help create the mellow mental fold. Chin injections right into the uh, mentalis muscle and also lip injections. Today we're going to be using Dysport for rejuvenation of the lower face. We're going to handle the little mellow mental folds right here on both sides. We're going to treat the prune chin and we're also going to help resolve some of these perioral right tits. It's very fine but we do have some pruning of the chin and some perioral right tits that should respond very nicely to a single treatment of this board. Okay, so first we're going to do a liberal dose of alcohol just to ensure that everything is as clean as possible. There's no makeup or emollient on the face. Okay. The muscle we're going to target is the depressa anguli oris. The origin is in the mandible. It starts right at the lateral border of the mouth. Uh, make a, a down mouth, a pouty mouth. Okay. In this case, it did actually line up right to this right here. You could actually palpate the depressor anguli oris. Do it one more time. Okay, great. So I'm just going to have you pull down one more time. Okay, relax. And right into the muscles, starting where our, our mark was that they met, we're going to give right into the DAO. Squeeze that again. Great. Just a little bit of this port now. I'm going to give six units here and down one more time. Okay, relax. And bend to the belly of the muscle as well. Okay, we're going to repeat on the other side. I'm not going to make the markings. She's very easy to palpate the area. It was right here. We're going to go again towards the corner of the mouth. It's important to know where you're actually injecting it. There you go. Because you can get, it should give a rise and it should soften these melomental folds. But there's always a risk of having the mouth become crooked. Should you get a downturned mouth, it's usually because one of the DAO muscles didn't get as blocked as the other. So the side you would treat will be the side that's still slightly downturned. It's a very easy fix and in a couple of days it's perfect. So you have to warn the patient that's a possibility and you have to try to make sure that you get the DAO on both sides. I didn't do the lower part here because the muscle was a little more prominent and I was able to palpate it much better. Now we're going to get the prune chin. Usually it's 
five units of Botox per side, which will convert to just about 15 units at this point. You can do a central injection. I prefer to do two lateral injections right into the, into the muscle of the chin. And we're injecting right into the metallus muscle. Okay, and on this side too. Put it in. And this is important to make sure you're right into the belly of the muscle. Okay, and in about a week, you're going to see a decrease in the pruning of this chin. We should see an elevation, not only that of the corners of the mouth, but also a reduction in the, the, in the, the depressor activity from the depressor anguli oris muscles. When we're doing the lift right hits, it's important to make sure you're in a safety zone. So basically, a centimeter in from the lateral borders, see a centimeter in on this side, and then a half a centimeter off. So here, as you fill through, we want to avoid that, and we're going to inject right in this safety zone. Very superficial until. And these are very, very tiny doses. Two drops on each side. Just one here. Okay. One here. And very superficial. This side. One more laterally, and we're basically done with the rejuvenation of the lower face. So I hope you liked the video and learned something and found a new use for Dysport. Dysport in the lower face. It gives excellent results that last as long as the results do on the upper face. Thank you for watching.